I'm focusing on T-cell exhaustion in this abstract that is induced by bispecifics. And bispecifics have already entered clinical trials for treatment of hematologic malignancies and are really intensely studied at the moment. And response rates are quite high, but there's still a lot of room for improvement. And we uh, hypothesize that um, the patients that do not respond to therapy so far, they um, show uh, some resistance mechanisms to these bispecific therapies. And uh, one part of this resistance mechanism um, is, in our opinion, um, the developing T cell dysfunction due to this exposure to bispecific antigens, uh, bispecific antibodies. And um, in this abstract, I um, explain basically how I developed an in vitro model system to, to simulate um, T cell stimulation with bispecifics over a, a period of uh, four weeks, because this is, for example, how the approved bispecific blinatumumab is uh, currently given in the clinics, but also other bispecifics are um, administered as infusion. So T cells are actually exposed to a continuous um, yeah, antigen exposure and stimulation by these bispecifics. And so um, we developed an in vitro system um, to mimic this continuous exposure and then analyze T cell function to show or to, to actually to, to investigate whether this continuous exposure induces T cell exhaustion, uh, which is defined by a loss of T cell function and upregulation of inhibitory molecules. And uh, we were actually able to um, show this uh, that uh, by continuous by specific exposure T cells do show uh, exhaustion, so we see decreased cytokine secretion, decreased cytotoxic potential. And then we went one step further and investigated uh, how this exhaustion can be um, overcome or prevented and we therefore uh, found that an intermittent application schedule of bispecifics rather than a continuous stimulation can really overcome this exhaustion and reinvigorate T cell function. And uh, in a next step, we then perform bulk RNA sequencing, and this is actually the core of the abstract. So um, we analyzed RNA uh, uh, we analyzed the transcriptome of T cells that were continuously stimulated or intermittently stimulated with the uh, bispecific. And uh, we could really show that during um, resting periods, so where um, the T cells were not facing the, bi the bispecific molecule, these T cells were transcriptionally reprogram reprogrammed and rejuvenated, basically. And uh, this was really striking, and uh, I will show more of this uh, then in the, in the presentation on Sunday. Yeah, and finally, we were able to um, validate also these findings in vivo um, by showing that the intermittently stimulated T cells were able to cure the uh, ALL in an NSG mouse model and not the continuously stimulated T cells. So, yeah, we think this is um, a really important finding and that um, maybe um, by specific application schedules should be revised in the clinics.